A very good morning dear students welcome to all of you to today's class but before starting the class let's do brahmanath o Now open your eyes. So welcome to all of you once again to today's English class. So dear students, today in this class we are going to read unit two of the poem The Inchcape Rock. But before starting the poem, let us focus on unit one. In the previous class, what had I told you? Inchcape Rock. It is the name of a rock. written by robert saudi and he belongs to romantic age and there was a clear and brief description on the climate on the weather the weather was quite good there was no noise there was no wind fall nothing was there and a ship was going calmly in the sea even the sails of the ship was not at all getting any motion means it was just calm very slowly it was going though it was not completely motionless but still it was not visible that the ship was going because there was no wind fall understood and apart from this i had introduced you with a person and the person's name was the abbot of abbotbrothok he was the saint of abbotbrothok and why was he famous in unit 1 because listen the inchcape rock is the name of the rock though i know you can recall it but still i'm focusing it on you look this was the inchcape rock and what was the speciality on this rock the rock was few inches visible above the surface of water understood okay listen suppose as this is the rock so when there was when there were waves only few inches of the rock was visible this much was visible few inches even not 1 feet 1 feet means up to this much this much only few inches was visible so the mariners were unable to find out the rock when there were high tidal waves or when the sea was rough and as a result whenever they were coming with their ship they were colliding against this rock and they were losing their life as well as there is the loss of property so in order to avoid all these things what was being done by the abbot he placed a bell here he just placed a bell here okay how the bell was tied the bell was tied with a floating object okay one floating object was placed here and on this floating object the bell was tied so when and when it was ringing always definitely the this bell was being tied with the rock otherwise it must have float to somewhere else it was not happening it was fixed there only whenever there were high tides okay or when the sea was quite rough at that time this boy was floating and the bell was ringing and as a result it was giving the sound and by listening the sound of the ringing of the by listening the sound of the bell people especially the mariners they were able to find out that as yes, there is the inchkep rock and they were changing the direction of the ship and they were saving their own life they, they were saving the life of the passengers and other people okay and this is the reason that why people are blessing the abbot because of the noble deed of the abbot people are able to save their life as well as of others okay this was the reason why the abbot was being blessed by people okay this was the theme of your unit 1 now come to the second unit so what is written the sun in heaven heaven means what here heaven is referring to sky only okay sun in heaven means sun in the sky was shining gay gay means what here happily delightfully okay so here the sun in the sky was shining delightfully it means what the climate was good it was not a rainy season there were no black clouds in the sky that's why the sun was shining brightly everything was perfect everything was quite good all things were joyful on that day here remember on that day a particular day is referred here and you might speak that the day which is mentioned in unit 1 and unit 2 is the same one okay so all things were joyful on that day and on that particular day everything was joyful everything means there was happiness in the surrounding there was happiness in the atmosphere also the sun was shining happily the birds were also moving happily and the waves were also quite happy it was not a rough means the waves were not quite rough also the sea bird scream scream means what great noise okay scream means create 
knowledge is the will around it is mentioned will around what does it mean whirling around means to move in a circular motion to move in a circular motion okay and what were the seabirds doing the seabirds were also moving in a circular motion round and round round and round where they were moving moving in the sky on above the water level okay and there was zoins in their sound even the sound which was being created by the sea birds it was also not a rough not a boring sound even in their voice also there was happiness there was merry making understood it so in this stanza the theme is it is all about the surrounding all about the atmosphere sun was shining brightly and happily in the sky the sea birds were also moving in a circular motion happily everything was calm and quiet and there was happiness in the surrounding the boy on the inch cap bell what seen boy means what i had told in the unit 1 it means it is referring a floating object of the inch cap bell was seen means this portion okay look this portion this was the inch cap rock the floating object suppose take the example okay so i am not good at drawing still you just try to understand suppose this is the floating object and this floating object was visible from a distance it means clearly it is mentioned that the tidal waves were quite low okay that's why the top part of the inch cap rock was visible and this floating object was also visible from a distance a darker speck speck means what spot on the ocean green why the ocean is being regarded as green because there are green leaves okay that's why the ocean was looking green color so a darker spot darker speck which one was looking like a darker speck this floating object this one was looking like a dark dark color mar in the green color ocean green the ocean was looking green because of the sea weeds okay because of the sea plants so this watch this one was looking like a dark color spot sir ralph the rover worked his deck and right now another person came into light and who is the person sir ralph the rover what do you mean by rover rover means a person who doesn't settle in a single place with a particular home okay so sir ralph is another character this is the second character first character was the abbot of everbrothok so another character came into light sir ralph the rover worked his deck deck means what i had told you deck suppose this is a ship this person is known as deck this person is known as name okay deck means flat upper portion of a ship where people can walk people can run people can jump okay so sir ralph the rover walked his deck and sir ralph was walking on the deck and he was the captain of the ship that's why he was feeling very proud and he fixed his eyes on the darker speck and what happened when he was moving on his deck suddenly he noticed a darker speck on the inch cap rock understood it sir ralph was the person listen up to this much you might be thinking up to this much it was referred on the surrounding atmosphere on the cool water etc etc then from where this character came no in the first unit i have told you a ship is mentioned it was moving silently without any commotion that ship is belonging to sir ralph understood now so there is a link in between unit 1 and unit 2 so in the ship sir ralph was there and he was walking on the deck and he fixed his eyes on the darker speck and suddenly he noticed this one darker speck is there and he also able to realize that is yes, this is the inch cap bell that is the inch cap rock and the bell which is there tied is the inch cap bell okay understood he felt the cheering power of spring and it was the spring season 
okay and he felt the happy power spring the season is regarded as the season of life that's why sir ralph was also able to realize the cheering power means the power to make someone happy spring season can make everyone happy that's why sir ralph was also able to feel it it made him whistle it made him sing and he started whistling okay you must knowing how to means do the whistle so he was whistling who sir ralph out of happiness whenever you are crying or whistling or are you singing no whenever you are happy at that time you are whistling as well as singing so because of the cheering power of the spring okay as the spring was having the ability to make someone spirit uplifted okay and sir ralph also felt happy and he started singing as well as whistling his heart was mirthful to excess mirthful means joy or happiness okay and there was extreme happiness in his heart understood there was happiness in his heart that's why sir ralph was singing as well as he was whistling but the rover's myth was weakness it means what he was happy he was showing that he was happy but still his happiness was filled with some ill feelings some bad mentality okay cunning nature understood it but the rover smith his happiness was weakness and his happiness was not genuine it was only for exhibition it was only for so okay even when he was showing he was happy he was careless he was having full means he was having full enjoyment of the atmosphere no but in his heart he was thinking to harm people he was thinking to hurt others there was weakness he was weak at heart he was unable to bear the happiness of others that type of person that sir ralph was understood it so here in this two stanzas it is all about the atmosphere as well as how sir ralph noticed the darker spot and how his heart was filled with happiness but the happiness was combined with weakness then what happened sir ralph he just fixed his eyes on the inch cave float okay and as i told sir ralph while going he also noticed the inch cave float and he noticed a darker spot on the green color ocean his eyes on the inch cave float quoth he quoth means said and while going he just fixed his eyes on the inch cave float quoth he my man put out the boat put out means take out the boat listen you must have seen in movies in a big sea there are some small boat they are known as the life saving life boat okay life saving boats so sir ralph was also having some boats in his ship and when he noticed the inch cave rock and specially the uh, inch cave bell he told his people to his workers to take the boat out okay so that he could go there with to the inch cave rock what he my man put out the boat bring out the boat who told sir ralph is speaking to his people and row me to the inch cave rock listen what was his uh, means uh, what is a intention he just told his people to take the boat out from the ship and to take him to the inch cave rock in the previous stanza we have read that sir ralph even when he was a rover he was not living in a settled home still though he was happy still there is weakness in his heart he was not really happy he was only showing he was showing up that he is happy but in reality he was not he was unable to bear the respect which has been given to the a boat and right now he is speaking to his people just take me to that place by the help of life boats and row me to the inch cape rock and now come on you just take me row means to do the journey by ship or by small boat a uh, water journey so and row me to the inch cape rock and now take me to the inch cape rock and i will flog flog means what here it means to cause harm the abut of abadrathak 
did you understand what was his intention his intention was to harm the abbot right now how can he harm the abbot it is not practically possible because the because the abbot was not living on the inchcape rock definitely he was going to do something with the inchcape bell and indirectly he can harm the abbot understood now think what type of person that sir ralph was the boat is slow yet and as you are speaking so the boat was low yet the boatman row and the boatman started rowing the boat and sir ralph was sitting in the boat and to the inchcape rock they go and where did they go they did go to the inchcape rock sir ralph bent over from the boat listen suppose this is the boat this is the edge of the boat so practically we can't touch the water by stretching our hand like this we have to bow down okay so what did sir ralph do he just bowed down near the inchcape rock they did go understood now you can ask me the question it means up to this place they did go by using the boat because boat it, it can, can be taken to the shore so here also they can go the ship can't go there but the boat can go so here he did go so definitely the inchcape rock was this much the boat was definitely quite big one so what did sarpral do he just bowed down and bent over from the boat from the boat he just bent over he bent himself and he cut the bell from the inchcape float see what type of person that he was what did he do by bending he just cut down the inchcape bell from the float means he did disconnect definitely as i told you the float was tied with the bell and the float must have been they tied with the inchcape rock otherwise it must have been means uh, sailed to somewhere else so he just cut the strings of the bell and then what did happen it was being separated the inchcape rock and the inchcape bell both are being separated and he cut the bell from the inchcape float from this inchcape float he just cut the bell in this way he just tried to cause harm the abbot okay down sunk sing past tense down sunk the bell with a gurgling sound gurgling sound means what type of sound look you just take do one thing you just take one empty water bottle suppose take the example suppose this is the water bottle okay take the example though this is not you just think this is the water bottle okay don't fill water in it you just um, turn upright okay upright down turn this like do this one and just put it inside the bucket of water and slowly try to fill it okay do like this slowly try to fill it that but but sound will come that gurgling that sound understood na otherwise so call me and ask so listen so down sung the bell with a gurgling sound so that is the gurgling sound means when suppose this is the bell the bell sank like this and when there were water bubble and the water bubble will come out and water will fill in it so when water was filling inside it was creating some noise to that sound is being created that sound is known as the gurgling sound here bell with a gurgling sound the bubbles rose and rushed around rushed around means what spread in every direction and what did ha happen the water bubbles it rose and it spread it in various direction means in a circular motion the water bubbles spread okay quat quat means sage said sir ralph now sir ralph is speaking the next who comes to the rock the next person who is going to visit the rock own bless the abbot of ever brother he will definitely will not bless the abbot think what type of person that sir ralph was and what type of harm that he was trying to do to the abbot that people should not pay him respect okay for his noble work that's why he is speaking that he said the next who will come here they will not bless the abbot it means directly it is mentioned that sir ralph was such a person he was unable to able to tolerate the respect which is being paid the homage which is being paid 
to the A boat. He was unable to tolerate his dignity, his popularity. That's why, in order to decrease, not only to decrease, to diminish it, to destroy it completely, he just cut the inchkip bell from the inchkip rock. And then he is speaking. The next person who will come here will definitely will not <coughs> bless the A boat because they won't be able to hear the inchkip bell sound. So, they will not remember the abode and they are not going to bless the abode. Understood it? So, in this unit, what is the theme? The theme is the ship is going, the ship is coming quite, but there is a person named Sadral, he was a rover and he just noticed the Inchcape bell on the Inchcape rock and he told his people to take him to there and when his people did take him to there, he just cut down, cut the strings. Um, it means he separated the inchcape bell from the inchcape rock and he just spoke that no one now is going to bless the abode for his noble deed. Okay. So, this is the work which is being done by Sadra. You must have heard something that if you are doing wrong then definitely you are going to be crushed also. So, right now what is going to happen to Sadra, whether he will be punished or not, either he has to pay for his wrong deed or not that you will read in the next unit okay so till that time thank you have a nice time